Peter Buswell from drvoip.com. Today, let's take a look at virtualizing your Shortel contact center. What I've done here is to log into my virtual machine. So we're once again sitting here on a vSphere client, talking to our host, which is a HP DL360. And uh, we'll be running our, our Shortel servers on top of this host. As you can see over here, I've created um, a Shortel's headquarters server, and I've also created a Shortel DVM uh, server. And uh, to demonstrate, you know, it's kind of funny to try and show um, a virtual machine. How would you know you were looking at a virtual machine? I could be showing you anything. So that's why I'm showing it, you, showing this to you through the VWare a vSphere client so you can see the actual machine here. This is the wrong resolution but I do want you to see that um, if we go here you'll see that I've got um, the Shortel application uh, is actually up and running. Here's my Shortel um, ECC contact center director. I'll go ahead and log in here. And as you can see, it's it's running here. We're we're overlooking the uh, console on the uh, Shortel uh, DBM server. We're looking at the console on the vSphere client, so that you can see that it is actually a virtualized machine. I've also created the headquarters machine. It's a a, a very uh, similar configuration. Uh, um, We've got it configured with about two gigs of RAM, uh, and we're using um, a network-attached storage solution. So, now that you've seen that it uh, is, I'll click on the console tab. You'll see that uh, we do, in fact, have a. So we do have, in fact, a virtual implementation here. Right-click this guy here and say. and control alt delete and I'll log in here as the administrator. So having once again demonstrated that we are actually on a virtual platform, I'm just going to go ahead and bring up um, the uh, web browser on my local machine and go to the IP address. For my, uh, um, this is, uh, we have to be running a copy of Shortel version 12, build 17, 7, 9, 6, 10. Uh, if you could do this with uh, 11, 1, and it will work just the same. What we did here was to create um, a test environment. We have a headquarters site called Hollywood, and it has um, an SG50 switch. And uh, we also have the Shortel conference server. I'll cover that in another video. This is uh, my focus here is that we have Bollywood as a a site under Hollywood. If you go to Bollywood, uh, that's where the ECC server is. If we drill down on the ECC server, you'll see all of our services are in fact uh, running, with the exception of this guy, um, and that the system is completely uh, operational. We've set up some route points uh, into the contact center. And if we go back to the virtual machine here and click on the, the DVM, uh, you'll see that we have, in fact, matched those IRNs here. Uh, the purpose of this uh, was just to demonstrate that we can, in fact, get the contact center up and operating, uh, enjoying the benefits of having a single hardware platform that's running my Shortel uh, headquarters server and a Shortel uh, DVM and the ECC application. So on a single hardware platform, we've economized uh, uh, 
by at least two server platforms and we have successfully implemented the contact center so i hope you have found this informative and i thank you for viewing